So this is Magnum. Um, I knew him on the racetrack and uh, he's not very old. He's about four now, coming up to four now. <laughs> and uh, anyway, he was a consistent horse. He always did very well. And anyway, he bowed and not uncommon uh, on the track or even in you know sort of uh, sports, whether it be barrel racing or eventing. Anyway, as you can see, you can see where it's bowed here. And at the time, you know, the traditional way of, of treating a bow tendon would be to just put the horse out. Some people might even consider this one too extreme. But normally, a racehorse would probably have almost a year off and they'd wait for the scar tissue to form in there so that, you know, it would heal that way. Unfortunately, when you get a lot of scar tissue, then what happens is 72% of racehorses will go out and rebow again. So, I decided to take this one on as my charity case. I persuaded a good friend to give him home. She's a little bit nervous. <laughs> and I worked on him every day um, for the first um, first month. Um, well, five, minimum five times a week for the first month. And then we went down to three times a week. And this went on for eight weeks before I actually went back to Canada. And in that time, he never took a lame step and Susan was back, he bowed March and she was back loping on him by May. And uh, so anyway, what we did, we employed a few different methods. We used the laser, which we'll go into the protocols in the moment. We also used a magnetic boot because we tried to make him aware of his leg because he was, as you see, a bit of a rambunctious child. Um, we tried giving him stall rest, that didn't work. We tried putting webbing across, that didn't work. He was a bit of an escape artist. And we also used an egg bar shoe because to get, he needed extra support. Um, I would recommend keeping shoes on for a bow. It's all about stability. I come from a long line of farriers and so I consulted with them, you know, before we actually started treating Maggie. As with all my treatments, I start with, you know, doing the unwind. However, when this bow was at its worst, I didn't give him a lot of pain relief because he was so hot when he came off the track. I didn't want him to feel too good. I wanted him to be aware that he was injured. So he came off all his hot food and we tried to keep him in a very quiet, calm area. And so I gave him some pain relief. He was never on butte. He, um, it was only laser because we needed to know the effects. This is when I wanted to know if the Activet really worked. This was, this was my, my trial child. And, uh, and then what I did was, is that I'd give him a little bit, but enough, and just enough to sort of calm him down, but not enough to make him feel like a racehorse again. So I also treated, as well as the bow, I treated the opposite leg just again because I was concerned that because um, of the compensation and the weight that we might even end up with abscesses on that side. Now with this particular bow I didn't get a, uh, an opportunity to see the ultrasound so I used thermal imaging to help guide me to where the tear was. So using setting 5 I started from here and I'd worked down. The actual tear was in here according to the thermal imaging so this is I worked in this area using the scan method some days I did use the spot method just to make sure I was getting all of those areas. So I'd use five on the on either side. So it's right through the either side. Again, if you're using spots and you're going like here, then when you do go from the front, you scat you you um, go in between here so that you're actually catching the area. So I would use then two and I'd work all the way down. The tears here, but for good measure, I just start above on it and below it. And that's pretty much my little motto. It's like you work above it, on it and below it. And then what I did, I went right underneath here. It wasn't just the tear, right underneath here. And then for good measure, just because I had the time, I used the one on the front, again, from the knee down. So there's a poor circulation in this area, so any, everything helped. And then, like I said, we used an egg bar to help support this and we use a magnetic boot to also keep stimulating that circulation. And we use magnetic boots on both legs. My name is Susan Zumalin. I'm the owner of Rebar Ranch. 
We rehabilitate and retrain and recycle racehorses off the racetrack. Magnum is a horse that is very dear to my heart. He was looking at, or I was looking at, a long-term and possibly a forever home in my backyard. But with the therapy and how fast it healed, it was it made me aware of the possibilities and let Magnum know his possibilities as far as going into a recycled and a more permanent home. Um, Magnum, we suspected had a, not only one bow, but we suspected had two. It was probably the most significant bow in my career that I have ever seen. Um, when he first came to me, he was unable to walk. We, um, I was looking at uh, the possibility of a one year to one and a half years um, rehabilitation time. And we decided to go ahead and implement a therapy program that would be the least evasive and the fastest healing to where I can get back onto my program. Lisa came out and did use the Activet laser on Magnum between four and six times a week. And the, uh, the outcome was amazing. The first two weeks we saw at least, at least, I would, uh, at least a one to two centimeter um, reduction in the inflammation. By the time March, April, and May had gone by, uh, he was already walking and trotting. Within a month after that, early May to middle of May, I was loping him. In the meantime, I was taking him down the trail. He was being eased into the normal, typical uh, routine of our rehabilitation barn. If I had not had Lisa and the Activet therapy laser, it would have put me back at least a year to a year and a half. And what that looks like on paper when it comes to rehabilitating a horse is it looks like thousands of dollars. Our main focus is to get the healing done and to get the horse reclaimed, recycled, and re-performing. This laser, to summarize everything, I was back on Magnum's back within 60 days. I was loping within 90 days.